Alrighty, the truck's loaded up, the trailer's hooked up, we're going to go on a little adventure. We're going to go about 20 minutes south here in the county and pick up a new toy. Come along for the ride. Alright guys, we're here at the location. Got the trailer back down into where it's sitting, and let me show you what I have bought. This is my new toy. It is a Struck Magnatrack. It's in pretty rough shape, I know. But I'm hoping with some work, this thing's going to be a fun little toy. It's got the backhoe on it. It's got a bucket. It's got a Tecumseh engine in it. Supposedly it runs. Nine inch tracks on it. It's got the forks on it. The ballast box. There's the dozer blade. And there is the bucket. And there might be more to it that we'll just have to dig through some of this scrap over here and see what does or doesn't go with it. So, all right, let's see if we can get this thing loaded. I'm hoping to let the pressure off and get these forks up and the backhoe up and put it in neutral and use a come along to get it up on the trailer. Work that lever, Nathan. There you go. Okay, hold it about the top. Almost. All right, want to get the hammer and do it. Oh, don't fall off there. It's right, going to. That's what we're going to do. I need to get my trash there. Try to winch this thing up. Now comes the winching part. Look at this beautiful beast. What we're trying to do is get the chain on, and then we're going to winch it up onto the, the trailer. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. That chain over there, right there, that's hooked up to the backhoe, is, it snapped, so we had to get a new one. This is all the chains we got. From there, all the way to there. That's it. And we gotta get that up to here. So I mean, I don't know, I hope it works. See, that's as far as it goes. So let's see if we can get this thing on the trailer. Hopefully we can. Here we go. So far no so far no good, but there we go. It's starting to come. And it looks like wow. It's just moving the trailer. See look at this. It's just moving the trailer and truck. It's it's fried. Those 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 uh Chains things are just locked up. It, 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 the only thing it's moving is a trailer and the truck. That's all it's moving. Well, what now? So the chains there are locked up. So we're gonna have to figure out some way to to get these moving. He's got boards under it right there. That's free. So far he says everything's free, so. Hit 
handy dandy WD-40 is going to come in and save the day. And it's in neutral. I don't know. We're trying to winch it one more time. And if that don't work, we don't know what we're going to do. The man right here has it all in his head, so... I think these uh, cleats are um, fried or like what are we stuck. Doing, Andrew? Transaxle stuck in gear. Oh. The wheels weren't moving. So, well, oh, there it went. we think oh. we just got it. There we go. Hopefully, that'll help. It's magic oil. Starting to move. Well, while he's greasing that up, uh, we'll just wait and see if it'll winch back up. We'll uh, get more later. All right, it's home. Do not ask me how I got it here. It was not easy. You have to overlook it's pretty breezy out here today. But uh, anyway, just a uh, buddy of mine went with me. We got it winched up on the trailer and got it home. We got this side to roll just a little bit, but the other side is still frozen up. Got the backhoe extended up. Nice little bucket on it. All the hydraulic hoses are shot. I'm gonna have to rebuild all of the hydraulics probably. I spewed out a little bit of the fluid I don't think that's the original seat. It adjusts front to back and it swivels around for the the uh, backhoe. It's got the side covers. I hadn't figured out how they go on there. I'm not sure they go with it. Got a lot of rust. We got the front forks off of it. There's the front forks. There's the bucket and the dozer blade. Like I said, this track on this side is frozen one of the legs on the other side is messed up and this or is missing and this one's messed up i'm gonna probably have to rebuild the uh, outrigger on it check this hose out ain't that nice this thing is set outside for a couple of years or better it's well it's set outside all the time it had been run in a couple of years and i, I may have to have all these cylinders rebuilt 
what a neat little machine. The lady I bought it off of is looking for the carburetor. I noticed when I went back that the carburetor was missing. That's a 16 horsepower Tecumseh. I'm not a fan of the Tecumseh, but I'm hoping she'll find the carburetor and I can get it running. I don't know what's going on with that pulley. <laughs> it's pretty bad. The engine does spin. And some of you guys, if you know about Struck, I was looking at the transaxle here. And this pulley is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's loose. It moves a little bit. That concerns me. Anyway, this will be the next project. Let's see what we can do with it. It amazes me how solid this thing is. Like this hood, I mean, that is just heavy. It's not a cheap piece of tin. My friend, he has a struck. He said this thing is probably between a 75 and an 82 model. I may run the numbers on the engine. That should put me pretty close on the tractor, assuming that's the original engine. All right. I'm going to try to video and document the process. I was up in the air. I've already been offered a uh, guy said he'd buy it for what I paid for it. And I considered it. I really thought hard about it, but uh, we'll see what we can do with it. All right. More to come. Thanks for watching.